I'm now 5 months in with Airdrift survival game where you build and fly your own airship, explore flying island and collect resources. I'm over 100 comets in and the finish line is nowhere in sight. But this doesn't actually scare me. I'm slowly making my dream of becoming game dev a reality. I got publishers and members of the community reaching out and wanting to help with this project. I'm excited as ever to make progress on this game and yeah, progress I did. We have a lot of updates to check. <laughs> I wonder what this is. Airship decorations. These will help to make your airship look nicer and more cozy. At this point we have a carpet, benches, table and a new crate to store all your things. Make it look cozy up there, I will for sure add more. These kind of things really bring the game together. More of the customization update will come soon. I try doing some world building just to get a sense of how things will look. We have environment props, resources and points of interest. Huge improvement from this and the game now looks more polished. We want to have a lot of island variations with different biomes, shapes and sizes. This is just a start now, but do you guys like it? Let me know down in the comments. We have three types of ore. Iron, gold and coal ores. When you break them using your pickaxe, you will get raw ores. Our models are made by member of our community Denji, which is insane, thank you so much. The next logical step was adding a smelter. It's buildable, you can put coal here to fuel it, and when you get close, this UI will pop up, showing you what you will get based on recipes. When it's done smelting, you will get ingots from the resources. Cool! You can use these ingots to make tools like iron eggs, gold pickaxe and so on. Getting better and better tools will give you a sense of progression. These tools will have better durability and we can set their effectiveness for each resource. All these eggs and pickaxe models were also done by Denji. Thank you. We are just rolling through these updates, so keep on going. Day and night cycle. This shader magic was done by another member of the community, Voluted Barrett talented guy who is also making this sick looking game. While playing in the night in the game, I can't wait to add torches and other sorts of lights to the airship. Let me know what you think about the skybox and day and night cycle. Again, a huge shout out to you guys, you are helping this project. I highly encourage you to join the discord, we have a fun community and fun emotes. I want to have some light story in this game, so I worked on dialogue system. You can add dialogue triggers to every object now, let's try on this random too. <laughs> Can't tell what these items are and what they do? Now we have tooltips, item categorization and item rarities. Just hover over the items and you get some additional info. Let's try on this random too. Main menu. Yes, we finally have a main menu. Also, we have a pause menu. And look at this. Yes, you can save the game now. This still needs some work, but we have two save slots. When you hit save, all parts of your ship and also items in your inventory and chests are saved correctly. Ok, now let's do the huge announcement. I probably spoil it somewhere in title or thumbnail, but yeah, the game now has its own Steam page. I made a small trailer for the game, edit some screenshots and yeah. The page is up. You can now wish this the game and you can find the link in the description. Like to see my game on Steam is insane for me. It was like a dream of mine to see my games on Steam. So hopefully I will finish it and it will be fun and you guys will enjoy it. Yeah, that's it for this devlog. See you in the next one. Bye bye.